I'm Ben with Modern Self Protection and Sparks Firearms, and I'm here to talk about types of gun banners. And there's basically three types if you think about it. There's people that are lethargic or just don't care. Apathetic would be a better word for them. There's a projectionist, those people that think because they can't do it, you shouldn't do it. And then the worst type is going to be, the third type is the worst type. They're the ones that are truly out there to control people. Because they know if you have guns, you can fight back. You can't control them. So let's talk about those real quick. The apathetic. And you meet these a lot, and including really my wife. She doesn't even think about it. It's not on their radar. They just don't care. And that's kind of sad. They care about other things. And yeah, but it's not what the country cares about. And it's kind of sad. They care more about themselves than the country. They don't care that the Constitution was back in the day and it needs to be revised or any of that stuff. All they care about is themselves and they don't really care about making the country great again. About what can I do for my country? I have but one life to live or one life to give. All these things that made our country great and these people that made our country great and that sacrificed so much. Now it's just the other way. It's gimme, gimme, gimme. I don't care. I'm going to elect the people that will give me stuff. I'm going to elect the people that I like. I'm going to elect my people. It doesn't matter what's best for the country. And they're just so apathetic about everything, including the guns. They just don't care. They would do anything the government says if they get, the, they get their stuff. And I got to admit, there's a lot of military and law enforcement that are like this too. They have their retirements or they have their disability checks. And mark my words, here's the next way that they're going to start grabbing guns is to link social security, disability, and the like. They're going to link all of that to the guns, just like they're going to do with healthcare. So eventually, to receive your retirement check from the government, to receive your disability benefits, to, see, to receive your social security, you're going to have to sign affidavits that say you have no firearms and that you'll get rid of them because they're dangerous or whatever the reason is. But there's a lot of people that are apathetic to the point that they're just going to do it. There's a lot of people in the military that have already done it. They come back blown up overseas, and yes, they have more things to worry about than the country at that point. They have to get worry about getting better and surviving. But there's a little checkbox that says, I can't take care of myself. We'll give you a lot of money. And then you are no longer in charge of yourself. You sign a little piece of paper that signs all your rights away and they report you to the FBI as a prohibited person like you've been adjudicated mentally incompetent. Why? Because they said, we'll give you more money if you check this little box. The apathy is there. The second type of gun banner. The ones that are, I don't even know how to put it. They're projectionists. They project onto others what they themselves feel. They feel that they're inadequate, that they could never protect themselves, that they could never take another human life, that they could never use a gun against somebody else, that they, they're just as, what's the biggest thing right now? There's just not enough time. Or in the nightclub shooting, if we had 50 people in there all pulling guns and shooting at each other, it would have been horrible. I mean, I don't know how much horrible it could have been in Orlando when the guy's walking around on his cell phone, tweeting and Facebooking out what he's doing and killing people at the same time. Hey, that's just me. But one trained person or one person even untrained can do pretty pretty good to get attention off. Yes, that person may die. But if it's the body count, we can cut the body count from 50 to 5. Wouldn't that be better? But these people just don't want to hear that. They're apathetic to, the, they're not even apathetic, they're just projection. They're projecting that I can't do anything about it, which means you can't do anything about it. Nobody else can. I mean, only the trained law enforcement and military can. And then they're apathetic to their way of how well our military and law enforcement are actually trained for this stuff. And then they don't want to hear about people like me that was trained in the military and law enforcement and has more training than probably 90% of the police officers on the force right now that are actively out there protecting you. But, you know, I can't carry a gun because they're projecting their unstable bias. I don't know their inadequacy on others and they're projecting their really I think it's deeper than that I think it's way down psychologically that they're projecting that they 
can't do it and they don't want to face that there might be bad guys in the world and they might have to do it. I mean, we live in a kumbaya, love everybody world and where we should be helping the poor and the rich should do their fair share and all this other stuff. But they're not into the maybe you should stand up and do something about it. They don't want to they don't want to pay attention to that. They don't want to know that there's bad people out there. They don't want to think about the fact that their child could be snatched away from them when they go to the grocery store by some freaking nut that just grabs the child and tries to run off. I mean, that happened. I, that story just got buried underneath the terrorist attack. But a lady goes in and her child, and the guy tries to take it. She goes limp and just holds the child. The guy finally gives up and runs into an off-duty police officer who arrests him. Well, kudos to both of them. But people don't want to think about how much evil there really is in the world. And then here in America, we're like, well, it's over there. You know, ISIS is over there. They're over there. There's evil people here in America. I prescribe to the 10% rule. 10% of the population are just really scumbags that are held in check by law enforcement and everything else. But as soon as they get the opportunity, they run amok. Hello, riots everywhere, Ferguson everywhere. As soon as they can, they will. And then 10% of the 10% are the truly evil ones that just don't care and they do whatever they want, whenever they want. And they decided that they want your kid, they're going to take your kid. They just don't care. And it's hard for us to understand. And people that project things on others, they can't understand why anybody would do that. Me, I can't understand it, why anybody would do that either, but I can accept the fact that there's evil people out there that will do that and I'm going to stop them. That's just the way it is. And I'm not going to let them take my kid. The third type of gun batters are the worst. They're the ones that want to control you, the population. They're the ones that want to be in charge. They're the ones that think they know best for what's best for you because you're not smart enough to do what's best for you. And on part of that is not even the higher, at least that's almost morally, ethically, hey, they're trying to help people. But no, I think it's even worse than that. They want to control you so that they can milk you like a battery like a cow and take all the wealth from you and then move up the line themselves because it becomes a game of monopoly for them where money just isn't enough and then it becomes power and power over people and the money can't buy power but then power can buy money and it becomes this vicious circle of how much they can attain and I mean most of you guys out there are like me you're not rich rich you we're in America, so I do pretty well, and I got to say I'm pretty thankful for my middle, lower middle income class kind of thing, because I've seen other third world countries where they're just scraping to get food off the table, and it doesn't matter. It's not like they have a choice. I walked into the 7-Eleven this morning. I had a choice for breakfast. They don't have a choice. They get whatever they can get, so I'm thankful for all that, and I don't understand how we just need more and more and more, but that's what those really people are, and I'm going to go a little political here. Hillary Clinton is one of those people. She is rich beyond anything that most of us can imagine. And she just wants more power. That's power over people. Trump, I'm not sure if that's it or he's trying to help people, but I think he's a little bit on the, you know, I know what's best for you, so I'm going to tell you what to do and you're going to do it kind of thing. He's not much better. But they're all pretty evil. It's, it's a simple litmus test. If somebody wants to take away your firearm, they one, they don't trust you, or two, they want to control you and make sure you cannot fight back. It's pretty simple. When I get to places and they want to take my gun, I know that they don't trust me. They don't trust me with a firearm, they don't trust me to protect myself, and they don't trust me not to attack them. Kind of makes me wonder who the bad guy is. So those are your three types of gun grabbers, the one that's just lethargic, that just doesn't pay attention, doesn't care, doesn't doesn't care about anything but themselves and forgets that, hey, there's some things that made this country great and a lot of it was sacrifice and we're all going to have to do a little bit of that to keep the country going in the right direction. The second kind are those projectionists, those people that they could never do it, they can't understand why you would want to do it, and they can't understand how there would be evil in the world that would actually attack them, and they don't want to think about it. And then the third one type, they're the evil ones. They're the ones that want to take away your guns so they can control you. And there's even two types of that subcategories. The I know what's best for you, so I'm going to tell you what to do. And then those that truly just want to milk you and make you like a cow so that they can get more wealth and more power. 
I haven't found a good gun banner yet. I'm waiting. I'll keep an open mind. But everybody I've met is pretty messed up in the head. So thank you guys for listening. Really appreciate it. I'm Ben Branham with Modern Self-Protection and Sparks Firearms. And hey, it's Tuesday morning. I got to head to work. Have a nice day, everybody.